Earth is a really, really old, 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 old planet, and it is pretty remarkable that not only does it exist, but that we exist too. Our planet is filled with crazy weather patterns and strange natural phenomena, but let me tell you, it is nowhere near as strange as the stuff that is found happening on other planets. Some are so strange that I bet we could find diamonds, rubies, sapphires, glass, and maybe even the answers to our origin. But we're gonna have to take a huge leap in space travel to do that, so for now, let's just watch this video. Hey everyone, do we Stuart here with an incredible space traveling video today. Today we are looking at the top 10 impossible planets that shouldn't exist but still do. So grab your spacesuit, kiss your mom goodbye, and get ready to go where no human has ever gone before. Until now. Starting us off in our number 10 spot, we have a Super Saturn, more popularly known as J1407b because that's an easy name, right? Heads up here guys, most of these planets today have crazy code names, so just get ready to take some notes because I can't memorize these numbers either. Anyway, this planet has been labeled as Saturn on steroids. It got the nickname because of its massive system of circumplanetary rings that are about 640 times as many as normal Saturn's rings. Super Saturn is an exoplanet that is 434 light years from Earth and is located in the constellation of Centaurus. It is also the only known exoplanet to have rings just like Saturn. But what's probably the coolest thing about it is that if this planet was switched out for our own Saturn, then its rings would dominate our skies and it would be quite the amazing view. Now, there is only a large gap halfway through the ring system and it is believed that a Mars sized exomoon orbits the planet there, but nothing is certain yet. Coming in at number 9 is a potentially habitable exoplanet known as Gliese 581c. Located just a mere 20 light years from Earth, or 120 trillion miles, you can find Gliese 581c, an exoplanet located in the constellation of Libra. Hey, I'm a Libra. This planet orbits its star at a distance of 6.8 million miles, which is a lot closer than we are to our own sun. We are a total of 93 million miles from our sun, in case you were wondering. Now, what's interesting about this planet is that it is tidally locked, meaning that one side of the planet always faces the star and one side never does. The side that does has temperatures that are super scorching and we would all burn up almost instantly. The other side is so freaking cold that you would instantly turn into a solid ball of human ice, so that's uh, cool. <laughs> but between the two extreme sides is a narrow area that could theoretically support life. Maybe even intelligent life? Who knows? We are trying to find out though because back in 2008, scientists sent a radio signal to this planet and it is expected to arrive in the year 2029, so uh, <laughs> sit tight. Coming in at number 8, we have another planet from the Gliese family. We have Gliese 436b, a planet that defies the laws of physics. This exoplanet is located 30 light years away from Earth in the constellation of Leo and apparently is defying the laws of physics. It orbits its star at a distance of 15 times closer than Mercury is to our sun and its icy surface is at a temperature of 439 degrees Celsius. Did you catch that? It's icy surface. How does that make sense? Well, it's because the gravity is so insanely strong on the planet that it compresses the trace amount of water vapor in the planet's atmosphere, and it prevents it from ever melting, no matter how freaking hot it gets. So there you go, extremely hot frozen ice. Damn, that's, uh, that's weird. Gliese 436b, brought to you by our friends at Icy Hot. I'm just kidding. Coming in at our number 7 spot, we have HD 189733b, or also known as the planet where it rains glass, the Hora! This planet is slightly larger than Jupiter and is 62 light years away from Earth. This planet gets its magnificent blue colors from the planet's very strange atmosphere. Its atmosphere is mostly made up of silicate atoms and particles. It also has some pretty crazy weather down on the surface there, as it can get to wind speeds up to 5400 miles per hour. That's 2 kilometers a second. For comparison, the most powerful wind ever recorded here on Earth was only 253 miles per hour. So that's a pretty big jump to say the least. Now they also have much higher temperatures there, or at least that's what the alien weatherman has told me. Uh, apparently temperatures on this planet can reach up to 900 degrees Celsius. But what is even crazier is that in those crazy winds and heat temperatures, it rains glass sideways too. Because why the hell not? If a storm like this were to occur here on Earth, it would circle all the way around Earth's circumference in just five and a half hours. So don't mind me, but I'm a going to just stay here on Earth for this one and you can visit it if you want. Coming in at number 6 we have Wasp 12b. That's right, an entire planet that is made up of wasp nests where they run rampant and they are all slowly flying to Earth just to take us over. 
I'm just kidding. That would just be cool and terrifying, but I digress. This planet is actually one of the darkest known exoplanets ever. The day side of this planet actually just eats up the light instead of reflecting it. It is twice the size of our planet Jupiter and traps at least 94% of visible starlight that falls into its atmosphere. Oh, and if you thought our last planet was a hot one, then you won't believe this one. Because temperatures in its atmosphere have been recorded to be at least 8,312 degrees Celsius. Woo! So get your swimsuits and suntan lotion, but the other side is much cooler. It only reaches temperatures of 3,992 degrees, you know, so just in case you wanted to bundle up. But this kind of planet is also called a hot Jupiter planet because it orbits so incredibly close to its host star and is heated to outrageous temperatures. Ooh, that's a pickup line. You so hot, baby, you a hot Jupiter. <laughs> No? Okay, whatever. I had to shoot my shot. But anyway, moving on. Coming in at our halfway point at number five, we have GJ504b, also known as the Pink Planet. Now, this planet is actually the birth of the Pink Panther, for those of you that don't know. And I'm not talking about the actual Pink Panther animal. I'm talking about you, Peter Sellers. Okay, none of that is true, but I really enjoy that idea. I think that's a great one. Anyway, this pinkish magenta planet is located in the Virgo constellation. It is also part of the Gliese family, but it is more often referred to as the gj 5 B. This exoplanet orbits its star at nearly nine times the distance that Jupiter orbits our sun. But guess what? This is still a relatively new planet, so that's why it's pink. It's still glowing with outrageous hot temperatures, which is what gives it its beautiful pink magenta color. I kind of want to make a trip into space for this one. I mean, a giant, quite literally hot pink planet? That sounds pretty wicked. Coming in at our number four spot, we have GJ1214b, or also known as Waterworld, and not the movie with Kevin Costner because no one needs to remember that one. This is different. Thank God. Sorry, Kev. I love you. Anyway, this planet is one planet that is just all ocean. No land at all. At least, none that we know of currently. If it is indeed a water world, then that means it could be a bigger and hotter version of Jupiter's Galilean moon Europa. I want some more information on this one, though, because I know that the one thing that people always look for when they look for signs of life is water. And you're telling me that this planet not only has liquid on it, but the entire planet is most likely just oceans? What are we doing? Let's get there already with our spaceship that morph into underwater subs and see those forms of life. I'll even help you fund it. Here, just uh. Maybe after payday, I'll, uh, I'll just give you my toonie. That's enough, right? Starting us off in our top three, at number three, we have 55 Cancer E, also known as the Diamond Planet. This planet is only 40 light years away from planet Earth, and it resides in the Cancer constellation. It is twice the size of Earth, but it is nearly eight times more massive and twice as dense. How does that make any sense at all? I have no clue, but that's what the smart guys have told me. Most of the planet's mass is believed to be made up of carbon, and due to the pressure, the average maximum surface temperature is 2400 degrees Celsius. But you know what's really cool about this planet? It is believed that this planet is completely covered in diamonds. Diamonds, I tell you. A diamond in the rough. It is also so incredibly close to its parent star that it only takes 18 hours to do one complete orbit around the star. So if you're looking to get rich quick, as I clearly am after I showed you my empty wallet, let's take a trip to the diamond planet. Who's with me? Coming in at our number two spot, we have Hat-P-7B, or as I like to think of it, the planet of Pokemon Sapphire. Ruby. Now, there are no Pokemon here that we know of, but come on, I'm not remembering that crazy name anytime soon. But this planet is located in the Cygnus constellation about 1,000 light years away from Earth. On the night side of this planet, there is high precipitation and aluminum oxide, aka corundum, are found in the atmosphere. Now, because corundum gems are ruby and sapphires, this means this planet is basically and hypothetically it rains rubies and sapphires, so that's pretty cool. So after we're done making money on the diamond planet, we can make our way over there. It is also known to have violent storms, so these gems are probably scattered planet-wide, so there's enough for all of us. Now, it would be much cooler, though, if you ask me if they were copies of Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, but, you know, whatever. Can't get too greedy, I guess. And finally, coming in at our number one spot, here is our one last crazy, insane name. We have PSRB1620-26B or as I'm going to call it, the old one. The planet is estimated to be 13 billion years old, which is more than twice as old as the Earth. Earth is said to be only 4.5 billion years old. So this planet is about as old as a planet can actually be. Well, that, at least that we know of. It is reported that it formed just barely 1 billion years after our universe's birth in the Big Bang. Now, this planet is not only the old one of the bunch, but it also happens to live in a, bun in a bit of a rough neighborhood. It orbits a pair of burned out stars in a crowded core of a cluster of 100,000 stars. So I guess you could 
could say it lives in the area where the planets never sleep, kind of like an intergalactic New York City. Anyway, this one is cool because it might be one of the largest pieces of evidence and planets that bring us all the way back to the Big Bang. Who knows what things this planet could tell us about our origins. We're going to have to try and get an interview and probably a translator because I don't speak space rock. Anyway, there you have it. That has been our top 10 impossible planets that shouldn't exist but still do. Now, which one was your favorite? Mine is probably the pink one because I think it sounds super cool, but if there was a planet that ran Pokemon Game Boy games, then that would obviously take the cake because come on. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to Hulk smash those like and subscribe buttons and I will see you all again very soon. Until next time, be good to yourself friends and bye bye.